Data visualization is essential in data work as it helps people understand what happens with our data. It's hard to ingest the data information directly in a raw form, but visualization would spark people's interest and engagement. Welcome to Data Science Cheat Sheets channel, transforming lines into limitless creations. Matplotlib is a library for creating static, interactive, and animated visualizations in Python. Here are the codes to install and import Matplotlib package. A line plot in Matplotlib is a type of chart used to display information as a series of data points called markers connected by straight line segments. It is often used to visualize trends over time or continuous data. The style of the graph line is set through the line style parameter, which can take the following values. Let's build several data sets and display them by specifying different line styles. In a line plot in matplotlib, markers are symbols that represent individual data points on the plot. They help highlight specific values along the line, making it easier to see the exact positions of the data points. Here are the most frequently used markers shapes. The color of the graph line is set using the color parameter, or C, if you use the shortened version, in the plot function. If the color is specified using a character from this set, then it can be combined with the line and marker style. Let's explore how our graphics appear with enhanced styling features. The location of the legend is determined by the locks parameter, which can take the following values. Here is the example showing the different options, legend location, via the locks parameter. Let's enhance our previous line plot by applying the styling features we have explored. A bar plot in matplotlib is a type of chart that represents categorical data with rectangular bars. The length or height of each bar is proportional to the values they represent. Bar plots are useful for comparing different groups or tracking changes over time. They can be plotted vertically or horizontally. A histogram plot in matplotlib is a graphical representation that organizes a group of data points into specified ranges, bins. It shows the frequency distribution of a data set, with each bar representing the number of observations that fall within each bin. Histograms are useful for understanding the distribution, central tendency, and variability of the data. A pie plot in matplotlib is a circular graphic divided into slices to illustrate numerical proportions. Each slice represents a category's contributions to the whole, making it useful for showing relative sizes of parts to a whole. A butterfly chart, also known as a tornado or population pyramid chart, is a type of chart that displays two sets of data side by side, typically used to compare two populations. Here is how you can create a basic butterfly chart using matplotlib. Matplotlib provides a canvas for turning data into captivating visual stories. From classic line plots to effective bar charts, the library's versatility empowers users to craft stunning visualizations. Let's dive into Seaborn, a visualization library built on top of matplotlib. Seaborn is a library for creating statistical graphics in Python. It is based on matplotlib and is often used to visualize relationships between variables. Here are the codes to install and import Seaborn package. The first plot we would try with Seaborn is the distributional plot to visualize the numerical feature distribution. We can do this using the following code. The distributional plot can also be split according to categorical values in the data frame using hue parameter. If we want to smoothen the plot, we can use the KDE parameter. We can split the plot even further with the row or col parameter. With this parameter, we produce several plots divided with a combination of categorical values. Another way to display the data distribution is by using box plot. Seaborn could facilitate the visualization easily with the following code. We can show the data point to the plot by combining the violin and swarm plots. A categorical plot is aimed to produce the visualization with categorical data. The count plot would show a bar with the frequency of the categorical values. Bar plot is a categorical plot that shows data aggregation. It uses a combination of categorical and numerical features to provide the aggregation statistic. By default, the bar plot uses average aggregation function. 
if we want to change the aggregation function, we can pass the function into estimator parameter. A relational plot is a visualization technique to show the relationship between features. It's mainly used to identify any kind of patterns that exist within the dataset. First, we would use a scatter plot to show the relation between certain numerical features. We can combine the scatter plot with distributional plot using a joint plot. Lastly, we can automatically plot pairwise relationships between features in the data frame using pair plot. Matrix plot is used to visualize the data as a color encoded matrix. It is used to see the relationship between the features or help recognize the clusters within data. The matrix plot could also produce a hierarchical clustering plot that infers the values within our data set and clusters them according to the existing similarity. A density plot, also known as a kernel density estimate, KDE plot, is a smoothed, continuous version of a histogram. It estimates the probability density function of a continuous variable, providing a way to visualize the distribution of data. Density plots are useful for understanding the distribution and identifying patterns or anomalies in the data. We can also enhance this plot by adding lines representing standard deviations, as well as lines for mean and median as an example. Subplots allow you to create multiple plots in a single figure, arranged in a grid. This is useful for comparing different data sets or different visualizations of the same data side by side. Subplots are created using the subplot or subplots function, which provides a convenient way to manage multiples axes within a single figure, but they are used in different ways and offer different functionalities. The subplot function adds a single subplot to a figure. It requires three positional arguments, the number of rows, number of columns, and the index of the subplot. This function is useful when you want to add subplots one at a time. The subplots function creates a grid of subplots all at once and returns a tuple containing the figure and an array of axis objects. It is more flexible and convenient when you want to create a fixed size grid of subplots and easy access to each subplot's axis. Choose subplot for simple cases where you add one subplot at a time and subplots for more complex layouts where you need to manage multiple subplots together. The tight layout function adjusts the spacing between subplots to prevent overlap. Seaborn is a powerful library for creating informative and aesthetically pleasing data visualization in Python. Whether you are creating scatter plots, box plots, pair plots, or more complex visualization, Seaborn's elegant syntax and built-in themes simplify the process. Plotly, library for interactive and web-based visualizations. Plotly is an open source Python library for creating interactive web-based visualizations in Jupyter Notebook. It supports various chart types and offers simple syntax for complex plots. Modules of Plotly. Plotly Express module is used to produce professional and easy plots. Plotly Graph Objects is used to produce more complex plots than that of Plotly Express. Here are the codes to install Plotly and import Plotly Express module. Let's start with some fundamental chart types that form the building blocks of data visualization. Scatter plots are used to visualize the relationship between two continuous variables. The resulting plot is interactive, allowing you to hover over points for more info, pan, zoom, and more. Line plots are used to visualize how a variable changes over time or another continuous variable. They work similarly to scatter plots, but with the points connected lines. Area plots are similar to line plots, but with the area under the line filled in. They are often used to visualize cumulative totals or stacked categories over time. Bar charts are a classic way to compare values across different categories. Plotly Express makes them easy. Funnels charts are often used to visualize stages in a sales process or the flow of users through a system. This code creates a funnel chart showing the number of users at each stage of a hypothetical sales process. Timeline charts are used to display a series of events over time. They can be created in Plotly Express using scatter plots with custom date formatting. 
This code creates a timeline showing the start and end dates of three different tasks. Next, let's look at some charts used to visualize how parts contribute to a whole. Pie charts are a common way to show the percentage breakdown of a whole into categories. This code creates a pie chart showing the breakdown of tips by day of the week. Sunburst charts show hierarchical data as nested rings, with each ring representing a level in the hierarchy. This code creates a sunburst chart with the rings representing day, time of day, and sex, sized by the total bill. Tree maps are another way to visualize hierarchical data using nested rectangles. This code creates a tree map showing the population of each country in 2007, grouped by continent. Icicle charts are like tree maps, but use a linear layout instead of nesting. This is similar to the sunburst example, but displayed as an icicle chart. Funnel area charts combine aspects of funnel charts and area charts, showing the flow of data while visualizing the total amount at each stage. 1D distribution charts are used to visualize the distribution of a single variable. Histograms show the distribution of a numerical variable by dividing the range of values into bins and counting how many data points fall into each bin. Box plots or box and whisker plots summarize the distribution of a variable by displaying the median, quartals, and outliers. Violin plots are similar to box plots, but also show the probability density of the data at different values. This code creates a violin plot of tip amounts split by smoker status and sex with an overlaid box plot and individual data points. Strip charts, also known as jitter plots, display the individual data points in a distribution with random noise added to their positions to avoid overplotting. This code creates a horizontal strip chart of total bill amounts by time of day, colored by smoker status. ECDF, empirical cumulative distribution function plots, show the proportion of data points less than or equal to each value. This code creates an ECDF plot of total bill amounts with separate curves for each time of day. 2D distribution charts visualize the joint distribution of two variables. Density heat maps use color to show the joint probability density of two variables. This code creates a density heat map of sepal width versus sepal length from the iris dataset with marginal histograms. Density contour plots are similar to heat maps, but use contour lines to represent density instead of color. This code creates a density contour plot of sepal width versus sepal length. Plotly Express can also display images using the imshow function. This code creates a simple RGB image. A true color image is stored as data array that defines red, green, and blue color components for each individual pixel and displays it using imshow. Plotly Express can create interactive 3D visualizations with ease. 3D scatter plots are an extension of regular scatter plots into three dimensions. This code creates a 3D scatter plot of the iris dataset with sepal length, width, and petal width as the axes and points colored by species. 3D line plots connect data points in three dimensions. This code creates a 3D line plots of the Gapminder data showing GDP per capita, population, and year, with lines colored by continent. Multidimensional charts are used to visualize high-dimensional data. Scatter matrix plots show all pairwise scatter plots of variables in a dataset. This code creates a scatter matrix of the iris dataset, with plots for each pair of dimensions and points colored by species. Parallel coordinates plots display multivariate data with a separate axis for each variable and lines connecting the values for each observation. This code creates a parallel coordinates plot of the iris dataset, with lines colored by species. Parallel categories plots are similar to parallel coordinates plots, but are used for categorical variables. This code creates a parallel categories plot of the tips dataset, with lines colored by party size. Plotly Express can also create outline maps using geographic coordinates, Scatter geo plots display points on a geographic map. This code creates a scatter geo plot of the 2007 Gapminder data, with points positioned by country and sized by population. Line geo plots display lines on a geographic map. This graph displays a line geo plot of the 2002 Gapminder data, with lines connecting countries on each continent. 
Choropleth plots color geographic regions by a variable. Here is the example. This code creates a choropleth plot of 1992 Gapminder data with countries colored by life expectancy. Polar charts use polar coordinates to display data. Polar scatter plots display points using angle and radius. This code creates a polar scatter plot of wind data with the angle representing direction, radius representing frequency and color, and symbol representing strength. Polar line plots connect points using angle and radius. This code creates a polar line plot of the same wind data with connected lines for each strength level. Polar bar charts display bars using angle and radius. This code creates a polar bar chart of the wind data with bars representing frequency and color representing strength. Plotly Express is a powerful and intuitive Python library that simplifies the creation of interactive, publication-quality visualizations. With its extensive gallery of plot types, smart default settings, and ability to handle a wide variety of data formats, Plotly Express is an invaluable tool for anyone working with data in Python. And finally, how to save plots to image files. If you want to save matplotlib figures as image files programmatically, then all you need is matplotlib.pyplot.savefig function. Simply pass the desired file name and even location, and the figure will be stored on your disk. Once you have created a Seaborn plot, you may want to export and save it as an image file for use or to share with others. Here are the code lines to save a Seaborn plot as various image file formats, such as PNG, JPG, SVG, and PDF. Plotly figures are interactive when viewed in a web browser. You can hover over data points, pan and zoom axes, and show and hide traces by clicking or double-clicking on the legend. Or you can export them to HTML files which can be opened in a browser, or you can export figures either to static image file formats like PNG or JPEG. Static image generation requires Kaleido. The Kaleido package can be installed using PIP. Python offers a wealth of options when it comes to data visualization libraries. Matplotlib provides a powerful and flexible foundation, while Seaborn offers high-level interface for creating statistical graphics with ease. Finally, Plotly allows you to create interactive and web-based visualizations that can bring your data to life. The code examples demonstrated in this video are at your fingertips. Simply check out the Jupyter Notebook linked in the description below to explore and experiment with them yourself. Thanks for being a part of our journey today. If you enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you not only show your support for the channel, but also ensure that you never miss out on the exciting content we have in store.